Well, Gooch, it's time to talk about the number five system of all time. What is the number five system? Of Drum roll, all time? please! <laughs> the Sony PlayStation 2. Okay. Awesome. Released October 26 of 2000, Sony knew they had to keep the momentum going as they had just built up with the PS1. They needed something bigger. Check. They needed something badder. Check. They needed something more faster than a speeding bullet. Check. What? They needed something more powerful than a locomotive. You're starting to sound like Superman. They needed... Actually, yeah, that's more of copyright infringement, so let's not go there. Let's just say... They had to achieve something that they had not done before, and they took the next step into the next generation with the PS2. Ah, what was one of the main reasons that took them to that next level? A built-in DVD player. Ooh, very nice. For starters. Go on and tell us about it, Gooch. Yes, now this system cost 300 bucks at launch. And despite being a high price tag for the time, people were lined up around blocks. They camped out overnight. This thing was a huge success from the start. Waiting for days, weeks, months, years, decades, centuries. Well, not the that long, but maybe days. The Continue. Fuck, it's not the creation of the universe, it's just a kick-ass game system. Yes, now the PS2 is still selling units, so these numbers could be a little off. But as of doing this video on the date we did it, it had sold total worldwide over 120 million units. Not a failure by any means. Now the PS2 brought in graphics like we hadn't seen before. The Dreamcast was nice, but the PS2 took it to another level. It had the emotion engine. <laughs> I cried all the time, the bitch. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. What? It's not that kind of emotion. It was just a term. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's in quotation marks. Uh -huh. the emotion engine. Yeah, and it, it's a beautiful piece of machinery. Let's talk about some of the other things that you got with the PS2 at launch. Some, yeah. of the, some of the great stuff here. One, it came with the game all ready to go wait, 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 when wait. you bought the system. Yeah, Gooch. It, the games came out at launch, but you didn't get one with your system. Oh. You had to buy that that's, separate. that's right. I'm getting off track here. <laughs> you know, I'll let, I'll let Mountain Dew out drinking coffee. <laughs> okay, let's talk about something else. It came with two controllers with the system Wait, already got stop it, yeah good you only got one controller you had to buy the you got two controllers with the genesis and well all not the, the other. ps2 oh well okay well let's genesis. just keep on going how about the fact that the ps2 came with four controller ports already I built had, into no what, way you had what to buy now? that separately what you had to buy that peripheral separately you got two controller ports Dreamcast, N64, four controller ports. Yeah, not the PS2, okay? Not the oh, PS2. Well, well, cheap. Okay, so it was you had to buy it separately, you know? Yes, I had to buy it separately. Oh, okay. Well, how about the built-in modem? Already go, just like the Dream... Cheap-ass sons of bitches. Ugh! Okay. One of the big selling points. Built-in memory. Had to buy it separately. <gasps> Fuck! <laughs> Why? Why? Okay, could you tell me why is this system number five on the top ten great systems of all time? If they're going to be so inconsiderate not to give you any of these fine, fine features we just mentioned. Give me one good reason. Give me one good goddamn reason. I'm going to give you one good reason. It better be good, damn it. I'm talking about games. Oh, yeah, absolutely, games. Yeah, the PS2. No one can argue it had an immense library of games, one that's still growing now, and a lot of really top, you know... Top, top games. Now, we're talking great games like, well, the top-selling game for the PS2, which was Gran Turismo 3. Absolutely. It sold over 14 million copies. Then you had uh, great games like Grand Theft Auto. You had Grand Theft Auto 3. There was Vice City and San Andreas. Kick-ass games. Gotta love the fact... That say if you're running low on life, you go steal yourself a car, pick yourself up a hooker, she gives you a little bang bang action in the car, your life meter goes up, you lose some money, then you can just run her over with the car, get out of the car, get your money back and drive off. So true to real life. Absolutely. Yes. Now other great games like uh, the recent God of War, God of War 1 and 2, mm -hmm. uh, you have Twisted Metal Black, personal favorite of mine, uh, the Jack and Daxter series, along with Ratchet and Clank, beautiful platforming games in all their glory. Uh, I feel like role-playing games, you're not short on anything to love here. Dragon Quest VIII. Ooh. And then you have uh, Final Fantasy X, X-2, 
uh, the online Final Fantasy XI, and not too long ago, we got Final Fantasy XII. I think you're forgetting about one super game series, Gooch. NRA Gun Club? Not even close, no. Damn it. The Metal Gear Solid series. Oh, yeah. Two and three, especially. Yes, very, very kick-ass games. And we could go on and on about the great games, the absolutely terrible games of the system, but there's just not enough time. To sum it up, the PS2 was, one, ahead of its time, and two, just a great system to introduce the new generation at the time. Yes, it's iconic. It's made its place in gaming history, and it's not going anywhere. And that's why it's the number five system of all time on our list. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm the Douchebag. I'm the Gooch. We've got four more systems to go. Stay tuned to see what they are.